Okay, so this is going to be the chapter one homework illustration, and I'm going to walk you through the five different questions uh, that you will have to complete in my accounting lab for chapter one. All right, so if you look at the first question, it says, which of the following management, I'm going to under, underline this, management responsibilities often involves evaluating the results of operations against the budget? And so if you go back and review my audio PowerPoint and you go in and read some of the textbook, you'll notice that you have choices, controlling, directing, planning. And the best choice for this one, if you review the concept of what a manager does when they do the controlling, this would be part of that, um, those duties. So controlling would involve evaluating the results of operations against the budget. All right, so if you look at question number two in your homework, it says managerial accounting differs from financial accounting in that. And of course, I'm giving you four different choices and you got to choose the best one. And if you remember from financial accounting, typically, if you look at these choices, uh, financial accounting reports on the company as a whole rather than segments. Again, this is what man or financial accounting is basically letter A. Uh, financial accounting is also for the external decision makers, not internal. External is, temple, is basically the, the primary focus of financial accounting, so that's not the correct answer. Uh, letter D, it says, is required by GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. Remember, that's financial accounting, not managerial. So in this case, the best choice is going to be letter C, emphasizes data relevance over data objectivity. So a, B, and D is essentially what you would have done in financial accounting. And in managerial accounting, we're going to be looking more at data relevance. Okay, so this is question number four. It says, of the following skills, which are needed by today's management accountants? And if you look at the choices, cost management, strategic thinking, decision analysis, all of those are essentially required. So question number three, in this case is an easy one, you would choose all of those. Question number four, which of the following requires the company CEO and CFO to assume responsibility for the company's financial statements and disclosures? And if you look at the choices, that's gonna be your Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Hopefully this is something your financial accounting and applied accounting teachers would have talked about but um, it's definitely relevant for all accounting classes. It's worthy of mentioning, but in this case, the answer would be Sarbanes-Oxley Act, Sox Act of 2002. And this is the last question on the homework. And the goal of this was just, again, to get you to compare what this class is going to be about versus what you would have done in financial accounting. So again, the question states, managerial accounting differs from financial accounting in several areas specify whether each of the following characteristics relates to managerial accounting and finan or financial accounting. Of course, here's all your answers off here to the side. So let's kind of go through a few of these. Part A, reports are usually prepared quarterly and annually. Well, that's typically going to be financial accounting. You're going to find that with managerial accounting, reports are basically prepared as needed, not at all always at set times, but basically whenever you need them. Part B, information is verified by external auditors. You know that that's going to be financial accounting. That's your gap. That's following all the federal rules. So part B is external. Remember, managerial accounting is, is going to be focusing more on internal. Letter C, focus is on the past. Again, that's going to be financial accounting. Managerial accounting is going to be more future, future oriented, more fo again, focusing on the future, not the past. Letter D, main characteristic of information is that it must be relevant. Of course, we know I already mentioned that in a previous slide. That's going to be the concept of managerial accounting. Letter E, reports tend to be prepared for parts of the organization rather than as a whole. Again, managerial accounting, like I said, uh, financial accounting, you tend to report on the whole organization. Managerial accounting, the you know, reports you prepare are as needed and typically could be on segments as well. Letter F, I've kind of already mentioned this. Primary users are internal. That's going to be managerial accounting. Letter G, it is governed by generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, or your international financial reporting standards. They call it IFRS, IFRS. That's going to be financial accounting. Primary characteristic of information are that it must be reliable and objective. Of course, that's what you would have studied in financial accounting. 
Reports are prepared as needed. I've already mentioned this. That's going to be managerial accounting. Letter J, it is not governed by legal requirements, managerial accounting. And there's a lot less rules in this class than in financial accounting. Letter K, primary users are external. We know that's financial accounting. I said this earlier, letter L, focuses on the future. That's managerial. And then finally, reporting is based mainly on company, on the reporting on the company as a whole. Again, that's what you would have studied in financial accounting. So again, review the PowerPoint lectures, uh, read the book, uh, answer some of the questions, but this is essentially a, a, an opening chapter to start to think about some of the differences of what you're gonna be doing in this class versus what you would have done in financial accounting.